Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favourite around here. <laughs> I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Ah, yes, the Stig, our very own UFO, unidentified fast object, the world's least obedient racing driver. Right then, the Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age-old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. You've got it. The trick with drifting is to not actually spin, but to almost spin for as long as possible. Take as long as you like. I've got nothing else to do. I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Ah, yes, the Stig, our very own UFO, unidentified fast object, the world's least obedient racing driver. Right then, the Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age-old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. Completely sideways now. Making it look easy too. But this isn't just any Elise, it's a Sport 1. ...90, <laughs> a tuned-up, stripped-out Elise for track days. Even the passenger seat is an optional extra. But who needs friends anyway? Friends are expensive and heavy. You've got it. The trick with drifting is to not actually spin, but to almost spin for as long as possible. There. Loving your work, Stiggy. It weighs well under 700 kilos and makes 190 horsepower from its 1.8 litre engine, which drifts to 8,000 RPM. Just listen to that. It's not the fastest way around the corner, but it's definitely the most entertaining. Of course, because it's a Lotus, it sticks to the famous philosophy of the man who founded the company, Colin Chapman. Simplify, then add lightness, he said. The Sport 190 also adds a full roll cage, just in case. Yes! That's it! The honourable art of drifting. The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one of the best handling cars ever made. The Sport 190 is its hardcore cousin, a road-going racer you can drive to work and across fields, it turns out. But if it's true agricultural transport you're after, we have just the thing.